Hey guys, it's Dina again. I am getting ready to fill this page with another button design and thought I would go over how I use the Align and Replicate tools to kind of help me easily get the designs on the page so that I can then print them and then cut them using the Cameo Cutter. Um, <clears throat> so there's a couple of ways that you can duplicate an item. You can actually right click and choose the duplicate. So if you only need one and you want to manually manually position that, you would use duplicate. It's basically a copy and paste function and then you can just drag it wherever you want. Um, this icon right up here is the undo. You can also use the keystroke of control Z or command Z to undo. Um, the other option is while you have this item selected, go up to your menu bar at the top left, click object, and then you have the option to replicate. So you can, again, see that you have the ability to duplicate left, right, <clears throat> excuse me, above, below, and then all of these other options that were in that list. However, you also have a toolbar icon over here where it looks like you have like a shape that's rotated in several directions. This is your replicate tool, and it gives you the options. You have a basic option, in an advanced option depending on the software version that you're using okay so just keep in mind that you may not see exactly everything in your software that you do in mine um, in the basic options there are the same ways to duplicate left right up down mirror and so on um, I can create a row of three a column of three or I can actually fill the page so depending on how many you want on there um, and how much time you want to spend working in, with this design and getting it replicated, um, you know, your design options here will truly matter. So fill page only works actually if you have something selected. Oops. All right. So when I click fill page, you can see that it's actually going to fill the page, but there's a lot of useful space still on this piece of paper. And I want to use up as much as I possibly can. Okay. So I'm just going to undo that action and bring it back to one design. What I want to do, though, is I want to create a row of four first, kind of space those evenly the way that I want them on the, on the page, and then I want a column of five for each of the rows, um, design items that are on this screen. All right, so with the design highlighted, with the box around it, we're going to come over here and, and choose row of four. And you'll see that it puts four designs now on your screen. And they're touching, and I don't want them touching. Um, they'll cut fine like this, but it, I don't know, I'm quirky, whatever. <laughs> so what I'm doing is moving the design with my key, arrow keys on the keyboard until I get it placed where I want them. And now I'm just going to drag my mouse across them all so that they're selected. And now I'm going to go into my Align tool. Um, which is the icon directly to the left of Replicate. Um, you should also have the ability under Object to align, and it's right there. It would be a lot better if it were, was in alphabetical order, but um, whatever. I didn't make the software. I just use it. Um, but you can see that you have similar options. Again, it's just not as visual. So if you're more of a visual person, you may like using the toolbar icons to get this little panel on the right. Totally your preference. So what I want to do now, um, because I know that they're all aligned um, through the middle or top or however they are, I want to space these horizontally across the page so that there's a little cushioning between them. And you can see that that has now happened. Okay, so what you can do now to finish filling your page is, again, select all of these items Go back into your replicate tool and we're going to make a column of four. Now I have a column of four and then four rows of that and I want one more row of four because I know that's what will fit on there. So I'm going to go up to the top of my options for replicate. After I've highlighted the bottom row and I'm going to choose duplicate below. So now that I have 20 designs on my page. Now, 
here's where you have a little manual manipulation because if I were to select all of these and then align them vertically, they're gonna go all wonky. And I, I don't wanna mess with that. Um, <clears throat> it may be what you want, but from what I'm doing here, I want these to all be lined up in the row and in the column together. So what I'll do is I'll highlight that bottom row and I'm just going to arrow it down. And then what I'll do now is highlight each column, go into my align tool and choose space vertically. And then that fills my page with equal distance between each item and I know how it's going to cut and I have total control over that. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or feel free to message me. Thanks, guys.